But let's start the show off with our first story. You see, 2014 is an important year in history as it marks a very special 100th anniversary. Our very own Danny Gonzalez headed out to the Chilliwack Museum to find out just exactly what we're remembering. On June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated, setting off a spiral of events leading to a global war. 16 million combatants and civilians worldwide would lose their life, 65,000 of them Canadian. 100 years later, we remember the brave men and women who died fighting for our future at the Chilliwack Museum's World War I exhibit. So we have quite a bit of souvenirs and keepsakes, so a lot of which are trench art, um, as well as we have some weaponry, so some um, inert bombs, um, some rifles. We also have poppies, so commemorative poppies that were um, a fundraising drive in the 1920s, as well as some things that were written home from soldiers, so letters, postcards, diaries, things like that. This exhibit, which grew out of the works of Paul Ferguson, the museum's previous curator, will be on display for an entire year as 2014 marks the 100th anniversary of the Great War. Every item on display holds a story of struggle local to Chilliwack. We have a beautiful Red Cross quilt, which was sewn in 1918. So it was at the Sardis Red Cross Sewing Circle at the Thornton family home. So each um, name on there was embroidered each one was purchased for 25 cents, and then um, a woman would embroider the name on there. It was a fundraising effort, and then the whole quilt was fundraised and raffled off to the highest bidder, raising funds for the Red Cross and the war effort. One of the most significant items is Piper Richardson's private haversack. Mostly because of the story of Piper Richardson, who um, earned a Victoria Cross from his heroic efforts during the Great War. Also the letters that he wrote home, uh, being an archivist, the photos and the, and the letters um, from soldiers are very touching to see, to hold, uh, to read. It's very personal, so I enjoy those. With so many stories of tragedy and triumph, the museum continues to honour the tales that took place a century ago. The further we get away from the war, the more veterans we no longer have, the stories we lose. So I think it's important to tell the story um, at 100 years, while maybe some of their relatives are still around and able to tell the stories, and the further we get away from the war, the less you know, stories we have. So we'll hopefully commemorate it for years to come, but I think right now is important. It's hard to go forward without knowing where we came from. To look back, to remember, is um, important for children today, it's important for adults, it's important to remember your relatives, um, and that's sort of what we do here. At the Chilliwack Museum, I'm Danny Gonsalves for Gove Razor Valley.